Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do our review for The Walking Dead. Yes, The Walking Dead. If Daryl <laughs> blowing up Negan's group wasn't any indication of what this uh, episode was going to bring us, I don't know what it was. What a way to start. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it, when that happened, I laughed. I really did because it was, it was so out of left field. You know, everything looks so bleak. And here's this guy from Negan's group talking so much shit and debating if he's going to kill them, uh, Sasha and Abraham or not. And then next thing you know, I don't know where, boom, they're all dead. Uh, that was just a great, great scene. Um, this episode, I, I have to say, is, and this is my opinion, my my personal opinion, I really think this is the best episode they've ever had. And and, and I'll, I'll tell you why. They, they've had a lot of wonderful episodes. When you think about episodes like Clear... Uh, when you think about pretty much dead already, uh, the pilot, um, I forget the name of the episode, but the one where Herschel got killed by the governor, that was a very good episode. Um, the opening for Terminus uh, last year, uh, you know, there's, there's been a lot of good episodes. But usually, those good episodes are usually either emotionally driven with the characters, or they have a lot of great zombie action. This episode delivered both. And they delivered both uh, the best way it's ever, it's ever had. They, they've tried this before where they, you know, combine the emotional element with the zombie action. Um, but none of them have ever done as well as this episode. And, you know, you have fans of The Walking Dead that love the zombie action. So when they get away from that, they get very frustrated. They criticize the show very heavily. And then you have fans that are very, very um, driven by the character, the dialogue, the story. And um, a lot of times to a fault, where even if the, the dialogue and the story for a particular episode or series of episodes may not be that great, they still love it. This episode had everything, had everything for everybody. And it, it's a test. I mean, this was really a good episode. Um, now, for comic book fans, a lot of you knew how things were playing out. You knew how things were turning out. So it's very, very down the line with the comic book. Uh, so, you know, when we see what happens to Jesse and her boys, when we see what happens to Carl, um... We, 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 this is not a surprise to us. Even with that, I have to say that it was a very impactful scene, uh, those series of events that happened from the moment that uh, Jesse's son started getting eaten to the point where she was getting eaten and then Ron got stabbed by Michonne. Uh, it still is very impactful. So I can only imagine how it was for people who don't read the comics. My wife is a perfect example. Uh, the minute she saw Carl, she started sobbing and crying. And it is very, again, it's rare that they've delivered those kind of emotional elements and that emotional drive while actually doing the zombie action. So, um, and there have been moments like that, like back to season one, when the camp first got, you know, attacked by a herd of zombies and um, Andrea's sister got, got, Amy got bitten. I mean, you weren't too attached to her. It was still early on, but it was, it was a little, it was sad, but it not as impactful as this episode. This episode delivered on all cylinders. You know, you're talking about the action, the opening scene set the tone. Uh, the the, the, the um, cinematography was great. The special effects were top notch, uh, considering it's a TV show. Uh, the, the ending, when they're showing very quick clips of each member of Alexandria, uh, the veterans from our group and then the newbies, chopping away at zombies was just phenomenal. And it was, it was also very uh, positive, uh, positively emotional to see the Alexandrians finally step up, to see them finally go out there and fight for what they have, you know, and you know they graduated, you know, they graduated, they finally made it, and to see Rick uh, sit there with Carl and express express that, you know, uh, finally say to himself or say to Carl that he, you know, he was he obviously taken back, that he was wrong, he admitted to being wrong about these people, that they do have that drive. He he, in some ways, had to push them sometimes very harshly. But it finally came to light at the perfect time. You know, it finally came to light at the perfect time. Um, Father Gabriel finally got his shit together. You know, all the other Alexandrians finally got their shit together. I've, and, and it was such a, such a good episode. And even within all this chaos, we have the wolf and, you know, um, that situation with the doc. I forget her names. You know, uh, it always escapes me. But even there, a very compelling series of scenes because... You know, on one hand, you could easily argue that he was just looking for his best interest. He didn't really save her for his benefit. He say, I mean, he didn't really save her for being for changing. He saved her for his own benefit. Um, but you can argue that he didn't. That's the that's the compelling part. Is that there were certain aspects of those scenes that made it look like, 
know, maybe he really does. He maybe he does have something in him, you know. And um, you know that that's when we, this, this, the whole episode all together. Even the small exchange with Carol and Morgan in terms of what he did, the repercussions of it, how she feels about it, um, you know, how she expressed that she should have killed him, but how he told her you can't. And he's not necessarily wrong. I mean, yes, Carol's badass. She she's killed in cold blood before, but she's always killed out of necessity. You know. If somebody was infected, she found a way to put him down mercifully. If uh, somebody was a threat, she had no qualms about putting him down. But Morgan is neither. He's neither a threat and he's neither uh, infected. So for her to kill him, she knew that would be cold-blooded murder. Not that anything else isn't. But in this new world, that would be considered cold-blooded murder. Not death for a reason, for lack of a better term. So just every step of the way for this episode... Um, was really, really, it just clicked on all cylinders, man. It was a well-oiled machine. Uh, boy, Glenn is the luckiest son of a bitch in the world, huh? I mean, seriously, right? When you, <laughs> even for a second there, I said to myself, all right, he's not going to die here. But then as they kept showing him being overwhelmed by zombies, I said, wait a minute, maybe this is it. Maybe this is going to be one of those episodes where we just get totally screwed and, and people die. Um, but obviously, Abraham, Sasha, Daryl arrived right on time to save him. Uh, once again, he's reunited with Maggie. The group is back together. And they finally corral and control the zombies uh, by the fire, which was a great, great idea to kind of drag them all into the lake. And then the remaining zombies being killed off by Rick and the Alexandrians and his crew. Um, it just all together was a fantastic episode. So this is, uh, again, in my opinion, when you look at the aspects of this show that appeal to certain crowds, the zombie action for the hardcore the zombie people, and then the story and dialogue for those people, this episode delivered on both ends perfectly if i i don't grade any episodes but if i had to grade this one it would be a 10 and once again in my in my opinion the best episode they've had in six seasons uh just because of how they conducted the episode how they how it formulated together how it delivered story interesting compelling dialogue action zombie action that people love it just was a well-rounded episode that really, really delivered on many different aspects. And I was very, very happy to watch it. I, I can't wait to see it again. And um, yeah, it's just a great episode. As I said before, I won't be doing reviews every week. Uh, for those of you who pay attention to my update videos, I did mention that um, when, a, when the second half of the season starts, I'll do the review for that episode. And then going forward, I'll either do discussion videos or I'll do a review on an episode that was a big deal. This episode obviously served twofold. Number one, it was the debut for the second half of the season. And it was a huge episode. And definitely had to discuss it. So let me know in the comments below what you thought. I thought it was a gem of an episode. Perfect, perfect 10 if I had to grade it. And probably, in my opinion, the best episode Walking Dead has ever had. Uh, how do you guys feel about the episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, what things worked for you? What things didn't? Let me know in the comments below. Until we talk Walking Dead again, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do our review for The Walking Dead. Yes, The Walking Dead. If Daryl <laughs> blowing up Negan's group wasn't any indication of what this... Uh, episode was going to bring us. I don't know what it was. What a way to start. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it, when that happened, I laughed. I really did because it was it was so out of left field. You know, everything looked so bleak. And here's this guy from Negan's group talking so much shit and debating if he's going to kill them, uh, Sasha and Abraham or not. And then next thing you know, I don't know where, boom, they're all dead. Uh, that was just a great, <laughs> great scene. Um, this episode, I, I have to say, is... And this is my opinion, my my personal opinion. I really think this is the best episode they've ever had, and 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 I'll, I'll tell you why. They they've had a lot of wonderful episodes. When you think about episodes like Clear, uh, when you think about Pretty Much Dead Already, uh, the pilot. Um, I forget the name of the episode, but the one where Herschel got killed by the governor. That was a very good episode. Um, the opening for Terminus uh, last year. Uh,